the concept trines on the Toyota new global architecture C platform, used by other models such as the CHR. Like that ULIT, the FT4X sits on the 103.9-inch wheelbase and relies on a suspension consisting of struts up front and control arms at the rear. Although Toyota didn't specify whether the show car actually has anything under its hood, the company acknowledged that one could assume the model could potentially employ a small displacement four-cylinder engine. Meanwhile, the company said, a four-wheel drive system with low range could assist a production FT4X in cashing the check written by the chunky 12-spoke 18-inch wheels and knobby Goodyear tires. Given the fact that Toyota has no plans to offer the swoopy CHR with all-wheel drive on our shores, we think a squared-off, off-road oriented subcompact crossover certainly has a place in the lineup. With the right powertrain and an appropriate four-wheel drive system, there's even a chance a production-bound FT4X could succeed where both the Honda Element and the Scion XP failed, attracting scores of young people to showrooms. We dig this Toyota, and we hope it becomes reality. Just as the Honda Wriggleline's tailgate can swing down or out, the FT4X's rear hatch is able to swing up in one piece like a conventional hatchback or it can mimic a Mini Cooper Club men and open outward like a pair of barn doors. Users turn the big industrial-style handle at the rear to choose which opening method they'd prefer. The FT4X's cargo bay features a storage compartment and a handful of tie-down hooks. Folding down the rear seats creates a flat load floor extending through the cargo area. The boxy FT4X's interior design is a modern take on the basic themes employed by youth courting precursors such as the Honda Element and the the mindset of the FT4X the rear doors, a front also serves as an exterior weapon.